Hi, welcome back to the uh, Spirit's Path, Taurus. And uh, here is your April horoscope, obviously for the month of April. And uh, just to recap, we started this month off, or the year off, with the ancestor. This is the year of the ancestor, so everybody's listening to the to their own universal beat within, and everybody's walking past those those birch trees, all the signs. And, uh, you know, they're walking on their spiritual path, all right? In the month, and, and that's a major arcana card. And you've got three of them down here as well. So, you know, that's a theme. The ancestor's a theme. Uh, in the month of uh, January, it was all about, you know, setting goals, keeping your sights on the goals, get, you, know, um, you know, aiming for that target, keep your eyes on the target. February, you were asked to... Uh, look within yourself, all right? Look for that, you know, that light within to help shine. And you were talking that page of wrens, uh, that page of arrows, that wren, all right? And, uh, you know, maybe there was some solitude during the February and you were able to, you know, reflect uh, inwardly on, you know, where you wanted to go for the year. And last month was the Eight, eight of Arrows. March was the Eight of Arrows and it was a struggle. Um, you still, you know, the... I, if I recall correctly, when I talked about March, um, you know, the thing that really brought its attention to me was that light of hope. And you had that in the hooded man as well. So you carried that light from, you know, looking within during those winter months. All right. And March may have been a struggle for you, but you still held on to that light of hope. All right. And, uh, you know, she doesn't even have a bow with her. This is, this is, a, she just got a staff that's with her. And, uh, you know, this person is crossing the river during the river time. And, you know, maybe they're trying to get from, you know, one place to another. Maybe that's what you were doing on this journey uh, that, you, that you're on as you're, as you're the, uh, listening to that universal beat. And you walk through those birch trees and your spiritual path. And, you know, you've got your sight on a goal. You know what you got to do. All right. You looked within. And now it's just a time of, you know, getting from one community to the next, one goal to the next. And sometimes it could be a struggle. So let's see what the month of April brings up for you. Taurus, shuffle the cards here. Just give me one, one card for Taurus. And I'm going to do what I did last, last month. I'm going to draw one card for a theme, and then we'll do uh, a card for each week, just to you know, tie into the theme. Okay, Taurus, so the theme for this month for April is just one card. Six of bows, abundance. All right, so, you know, right off the bat, the thought process that comes through is here you struggled in the month of March, you know, going maybe from one community to an X, uh, you're keeping your sights on the goals, you know, you look within, and now you're going to, in the month of April, you're going to have abundance. You're going to be able to reap that harvest that's coming through. Let's move those out. Okay, so for the first week of April, what can you expect? The first week of April, what can you expect? Major Arcana card with the Guardian. Letting go of your fears. Second week of April, what can you expect? What can Taurus expect that second week of April? What can Taurus expect that second week of April? Just need one card. If it won't come, I'll take it off the top. There we go. Nine of Arrows, Dedication. We'll tie this all in. Third week, moon on the water. And then the fourth week, four of arrows, rest. And that one flew out. So what a great, great way to end the month. So let's look at this. Okay. So as we said, you're marching to your own beat. January, you had your sights set on the goals. Uh, you looked within with that hooded man, major arcana card. You know, three, three major arcana cards, and then you had the Eight of Arrows struggle. This month, it's all going to be about abundance, all right? And how are you going to bring that abundance on you? Okay. Um, for one, the universe, the universe never uh, holds off on, on stuff, okay? So the universe saw your struggles last month, and this month they're going to tell you, you know what? You know, it's time for you to have some abundance. Spring is coming around, and maybe that abundance is... Um, you know, just getting outside, Taurus, just getting outside and maybe plant some flowers, maybe planting those crops so in the fall you have, you know, some abundance to go with. 
All right. Maybe it's that, uh, you know, getting out as restrictions are being lowered. And now you can go out there and, um, you know, go to social gather- gatherings and, and have that abundance of friendship, you know, show up. Um, you know, six of, six of bows is also about creativity. Now that the weather is breaking, maybe it's a good time to, you know, be creative in your projects around the house, all right, or at work, however you want to look at it. Uh, just just know that this, this month of April, you, you, there's going to be a lot of abundance coming through. So look at all the opportunities that come through. And, you know, the first week with that abundance is a major arcana card, the Life Lessons card of the Guardian. And, uh, you know, the, the Guardian teaches me on, you know, facing my fears. This guy pops up at a time when, you know, if, if you want that abundance in your life, you have to face those fears that are, that are there for you to walk through that cave. This first week is all going to be, you know, maybe facing the fears of finances or facing the fears of, you know, I don't want to start this new project. Maybe they're facing the fears of, um, you know, trying to have that creativity. But if you stop here in this first week and you let the bear skeleton stop you, all right, you may still have abundance, but you won't be able to manifest the full abundance that's out there. Okay. So whatever it is, whatever the fear is, whether it's a psychological fear, a physical fear, emotional fear, you know, whether it's a relationship, uh, a co- uh, work setting, um, social setting, whatever it is, face it head on. Okay. Face it head on and let that fear guide you to manifest more for your abundance this month of April. And once you do that, and this is what makes it easier. Once you do that, that second that second week of April is represented by that nine of arrows, dedication. Okay. Once you get past the guardian, once you get past those fears, you're going to say, why did I even, why do I even let that guy try to stop me? Why did I let that worry and anxiety? I need to dedicate myself to that manifestation stage to manifest as much abundance as I can manifest. However you want to do it. You know, whether it's romance, whether it's finance, you know, whether it's learning, growth, you know, in your spirituality, dedicate yourself during that second week to what you really enjoy. You know, here she is, you know, she's got an arrow. She's playing a bowstring. All those arrows are dancing around her. She's not manipulating that. She's dedicated herself to the craft to where those arrows are just are just there, ready for her. You know, so dedicate yourself to, you know, whatever's holding you back for that abundance, whether it's your job or relationship or whatever. Just dedicate yourself to, you know, moving forward during that second week. The third week is going to be represented by the moon on the water. And the moon on the water is, again, another life lessons card. And uh, you are going to have that opportunity to, um, it could be very emotional for you. Okay, it could be very um, open for you as as far as um, a tide coming through. You know how tides come through and out. Okay, um, you know here you've got your sign sitting in the moon with that with the heron flying up there as well, and there's a, there's a whole bunch of herons. So you know the third week. You may want to, you know, you know, you may want to touch in with the new moon or the full moon, whatever one's coming up. Probably, the, I would think the new moon. New moon might be up there in that second week. But um, touch in, the, touch in base with your emotions. Okay, look at the moon um, to to help hide some, uh, to to help view some of the dark, hidden stuff that's going on within your life. All right, open yourself up to that moon. All right, open yourself up to the emotions that are out there during that third week. You know, and, you know, in April and, you know, see how it moves you. Okay, maybe go with the flow of what's happening during that third week. And in the fourth week of April, okay, it's all going to be about four of arrows and rest. All right, and in order, in order to gather that abundance, okay, there's going to be a time for you to, you know, kick back and relax. You know, take the time to, to re- to recover while you're while you're laying there all right 
you're working hard this month, you know, trying to get that, that abundance coming through, you know, you're facing your fears with the guardian, you're dedicating yourself to, you know, the goals and, you know, whatever it is that you've got, you know, moving on your spiritual path. That last week of April, going into, going into May, and for some, you know, that's going to be your birth, that's going to be the start of your birth month, the end of April going into May, all right? And it's a great opportunity to rest and relax during your birth month, okay? Um, you know, as your birthday's in the last, last part of the, you know, maybe the third and fourth week of April, okay? And, you know, take the time to sit back and relax, rest, enjoy, enjoy what's going on. Because when you can rest and relax and let the universe take over for stuff, guess what? That's going to help. That's going to help manifest that abundance for you. And that's that's how I'm going to end it for the month of April, Taurus. Is that six of bows abundance? You know, face your fears. Be dedicated to you know staying on that path that you're on. Um, you know, listen to the moon, watch the moon, open yourself up to the moon. That third week. All right, go with the flow. Um, you know, let the tides carry you, more or less. And then that fourth week, just rest. Rest and enjoy maybe your birthday week, okay, or, you know, whatever it is. Maybe just take take some time out to go on vacation, all right? So you can have that abundance, you know, going into the month of May. All right, Taurus, there's a message for the month of April, Six of Bows, Abundance. Hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel, and share it with others. And this is D for the Spirit's Path. We'll talk to you in a month of May. Take care, God bless, and stay safe.